Ever wondered about the intricate dance between endometriomas and in vitro fertilization, commonly known as IVF? Today, we're diving deep into this intricate tango, exploring the controversial question, should endometriomas be removed before embarking on your IVF journey? Endometriomas, those notorious ovarian cysts, have long been seen as potential disruptors in the fertility process. Some research suggests that these unwelcome guests may interfere with egg quality, potentially impacting IVF success rates. However, the story doesn't end there. Removing these cysts through surgery can also pose risks. The procedure may lead to a reduction in your ovarian reserve, that all-important bank of eggs for potential future pregnancies. This presents a challenging paradox, to remove or not to remove. The answer is far from straightforward. The decision hinges on many factors, including your age, the severity of your endometriosis, and your individual goals for IVF. Open, informed discussions with your healthcare team are invaluable in navigating this complex decision. Despite ongoing debates and differences in approach, one thing is clear. This is a rapidly evolving field of study. As research progresses, more light will be shed on the best strategies for managing endometriomas in the context of IVF. But don't forget, surgery isn't the only dance move in this complex routine. Depending on your personal circumstances, your healthcare team may recommend hormonal treatments to reduce the size of the cysts or pain management strategies to ensure you continue to twirl through life with minimal discomfort. The key takeaway from our exploration today? Knowledge is power. Understanding the intricate dance between endometriomas and IVF is crucial in making informed decisions about your fertility journey. You are the choreographer of your own story, so step with confidence, make educated choices, and remember that even with endometriomas in the picture, the dance towards motherhood is still very much possible. Don't forget to delve deeper into this topic by exploring the video and FAQs below. And let's keep this conversation alive. Share your thoughts, experiences or questions in the comments section. Until next time, keep dancing.